Today we'll be looking at a day in the life of a cardiologist, so let's get started. Who exactly is a cardiologist? Well, a cardiologist is a doctor trained in diagnosing, treating, and preventing diseases associated with the heart and blood vessels. That makes sense, but let's dig a little deeper into what does a cardiologist do? A cardiologist generally reviews the patient's medical history, performs examinations, and treats the patient using medications, surgery, or suggesting lifestyle changes based on the severity of their condition. How does one become a cardiologist? Well, this process takes more than a decade like many other specialists, physicians, and surgeons. It requires three to four years of undergraduate education, four years of medical school, three years of training in general internal medicine, and three or more years in specialized training. That is definitely a lot of learning and training, but it pays off when you're finally able to help patients in terms of treatment and diagnosis. How exactly does a cardiologist diagnose patients? There are quite a few tests and equipment used for these purposes, but we'll briefly demystify some of them for you now. The first is a common one, which is a blood test. This is used to measure blood fats, such as cholesterol and triglycerides, where LDL is a bad cholesterol and HDL is a good cholesterol. Vitamins, such as A, B, C, D, E, and K, and mineral levels, such as iron, magnesium, and calcium, which affect the health of your heart, are also measured by blood tests. Next is an electrocardiogram, short for ECG. This one is seen in the hospital scenes of TV shows and movies quite often. It measures the heart's electrical impulses and determines whether the beating heart rate falls within the normal range. It's also used to diagnose a heart attack or irregular heart rhythms called arrhythmias. Along the same lines, an exercise stress test can also be done where a person exercises while the ECG measures your heart rate and rhythm. We also have the echocardiogram. The echo part might have given it away, but this is a type of ultrasound x-ray of your heart that allows the cardiologist to check the heart's valves, chambers, and blood pumping ability. Lastly, we have the magnetic resonance imaging, also known as the MRI. We've all definitely heard a lot about MRIs being used for the brain, but they're also used for generating digital images of the patient's heart. It's useful for looking at the structural features of the heart while diagnosing a disease, planning for a heart surgery, or looking at a patient's recovery process after a heart surgery. Now, you might be wondering that yes, cardiologists seem to do a lot on their own, but which other hospital departments do they collaborate with on a regular basis? Cardiologists work in an interdisciplinary manner, and they collaborate with many other physicians and surgeons to provide the best patient care. The team working with a particular patient may involve many different physicians, all depending on the patient's diagnosis and treatment plan. Having a team of experts collaborate usually means that all aspects of the patient's case are being considered. Some departments that cardiologists often work with are physicians specialized in surgery, radiology, pathology, and endocrinology. Cardiologists may also assist in surgery, but major surgeries are left for the physicians specialized in heart surgery, known as cardiovascular or cardiothoracic surgeons. Radiologists usually help diagnosing heart conditions via different imaging techniques. Pathologists on the team contribute by examining the surgically removed tissue from surgery. Lastly, an endocrinologist helps regulate processes such as metabolism, blood pressure, cholesterol, etc. to help the patient's heart health. These are just some of the departments our cardiologists may collaborate with. There are many misconceptions about cardiovascular diseases that cardiologists hear about every day. Three common misconceptions about cardiovascular disease include I'm too young to develop a cardiovascular disease Diabetes and high blood pressure won't affect my heart because I'm taking my medication regularly And cardiovascular conditions run in my family, so there's nothing I can do to prevent it Cardiologists work towards debunking these myths by working closely with patients and their families to help improve their overall quality of life Regarding the first myth, cardiologists have revealed that cardiovascular conditions can affect anyone and at any time in our life. Moving on to myth 2. While taking your prescribed medication will assist in reducing your risk or delaying the development of cardiovascular disease, it does not guarantee that your cardiovascular health will not be compromised. The underlying cause of diseases like diabetes or hypertension 
can still contribute to the onset of cardiovascular diseases. Finally, on to myth 3. Despite having a family history of cardiovascular conditions, individuals can still take steps to reduce their risk. These steps may include controlling their cholesterol levels, ensuring their blood pressure and blood sugar levels are in the normal range, engaging in physical exercise, stop smoking, and maintaining a healthy diet. To summarize, in this video we learned about a cardiologist's job description and daily responsibilities. We also learned about the several types of tests and equipment used to help diagnose patients with a heart or a similar disease. We discussed how collaboration and teamwork is a big part of cardiologists' work. And lastly, we went over some of the misconceptions related to cardiovascular diseases. We hope that you were able to learn something new and enjoyed this day in the life of a cardiologist video. Subscribe to our channel for more content in the future.